The name's Eva. Hmm. It's all in good fun. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. This is where we get our gun back. 45, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive... I'm not sure the controller is vibrating here, I'm not sure why. After is it because swamp, Snake is be fidgeting around with a gun? Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. Yeah, it's every time he scrapes the knife, the controller is vibrating. <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. 
It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. Another R1 moment coming up. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Or not? Hmm. That seemed like the perfect moment for an R1 moment to pop up. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping what does ICU stand for again? Naturally. I'm assuming it's that Depending medical facility sleep, that he was in. You may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctors Intensive care okay. units? Something like that, yeah. I'm thinking? Okay. Okay, let's continue. I'm pretty sure there's an R1 moment coming up by here. There's actually two coming up. Oh, when he wakes up. First one. Huh. I gotta say right now, I'm gonna do a really bad job here. We're surrounded. I see four of them. I've never gotten past this bit without getting spotted. I, I get spotted every time without fail. I'm sure this time it's going to be no difference. I'll try, but I doubt I'll, I doubt I'll you know, succeed. It's just, I just can't do it. Here, give me a hand. We can use this to get to the basement. I wish I could use it. It would make this sequence a lot easier if I could, you know, exit through the bottom vent. Damn it! I saw what. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Wish me luck. Okay, so the first thing that happens is, is they basically clear this room. So, uh, as far as I can tell, the best thing to do is to hide in this vent. Oh, I mean, locker. Wait for them to clear the room and then when they leave, that's when you can, uh, well, you know, give it a go, try and trank them. What are they shooting at? What? Uh, I don't like how close he got to the locker. I don't know if uh, oh, he's gone. Oh, good. Okay. 
That made me jump. Did we lose him? What? Not here? He's not here? Keep looking. Boo! I was about to leave there. It's a good job I waited slightly longer. Come on, just go. I I'm going to assume it's safe now. I wait, he's still standing in the doorway. Okay, I let's hope it's safe. Move. I'm trying my best to be stealthy here, but I, I know I'm just gonna get spotted immediately as soon as I leave this room. Ah, uh, squares, I guess. I mean. I really don't want to leave this place. Right. There's a guy on the roof as well. I gotta watch out for him. Can I just like try and camp by here and then... Boom. Oh wow, I got one while well, I hit him. I hope they don't wake each other up when I trank them. Okay, are they coming back? Go, 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 go. I really hope they can't spot me here. So I hit one of them. He should be falling asleep anytime now. I think when you trank the enemies, they stay down, I think. Because in the regular gameplay, if you trank an enemy and another enemy w comes across the sleeping body, they wake them up, obviously. But because this is supposed to be some sort of encounter, I think they stay down permanently when you do trank them. I didn't hit the guy, right? I mean, he reacted. Am I safe to come out? Anyone there? Okay, I'm starting to suspect my tranquilizer may not have hit him. I'm sure this is like a tactic that scrubs use, I'm sure. I definitely hit him, without a doubt. Just camping by here and constantly hiding here when they come back. I'm sure this is a really scrubby kind of tactic. But it's really the only tactic I can see working for me. I know as soon as I leave this area, they're going to spot me. I definitely hit him. I didn't mean to do that. They're leaving again, alright. Oh god, who spotted me? Oh. Yeah, well, that's the end of that. Might as well take off the tranquilizer. Don't want to waste it. They threw a grenade. I'm getting out here. I missed. Missed. What? Oh, this isn't... Oh my god. That explains everything. So that's why the tranquilizers wasn't pulling them down. I wasn't using the tranquilizer to begin with. I was using an actual gun. Maybe this could have turned out better if I was actually using... If, oh. That's no good. I'm pretty pissed. Split up. I can't believe I've... Really botched this. I see him. 
Headshot. It's such a, it's such a dumb mistake. I can't believe this. I kind of just want to kill myself. I might just to see if I can give this another go. I want to try and take the guy out on the roof ASAP. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? What's this? Ah, a box. There he is. Oh no, missed them. You know, right now they don't know where I am. Maybe I can go back to being stealthy again. Better heal myself. Ointment and bandage. No, I shouldn't have used that. Okay. Right, there's four of them. One, the guy on the roof stays on the roof at all times. There's the other three of them. Okay, not good. Where, where is he? Might be the guy on the roof? I don't know. Who spotted me? I think it was him. Alright. Don't have to worry about him anymore. I think there's a guy that always stays around the corner of the building over there. Pretty sure there's a guy around here. Yeah. Oh. Been around. Right, one more. I'm just gonna grab. Oh, I'll grab it later. There is a face camo you can grab, which is like behind these barrels. Not gonna get it quite yet. There's one dude left. I think he's actually behind here. Yeah, there he is. Maybe we can see you see him. Okay. I don't get it. Uh, it seems to me as if they. I swear, just turn. They just turn around. Well, that's the end of that. Like I said, I. I'm, in general, I'm pretty bad at this game, but that bit especially, no good at all. Although I think I could have done quite well at the beginning. I was doing quite well at the beginning there. I was using a scrubby tactic, as I say, but I didn't realize I didn't I didn't have the tranquilizer gun out. I'm still kind of pissed off about that. I've been waiting for this moment. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. Female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well... It wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. 
and you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. has moments which are just so goofy and just so out there and then it has some really uh, genuinely emo emotional moments as well that thing only carries six I would say but it's just great how Mag MGS can just jump between being really silly and ridiculous and just really intense and dramatic at the same time it's great I mean it, there's such a contrast you know it's not meant for shooting people damn This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Well, for me, that's kind of the most annoying or kind of hardest part of the game for me. I'm sure a lot of people will kind of laugh at me for saying that and they'll be like, nah, it's easy, but... Yeah, not too good at that bit. Uh, what do I need? Disinfectant? Okay. Um... So, let's see. I never use. Oh well, I do sometimes. I'll keep that up. Well, I never use the lethal weapon in this game, so keep that there. Stun grenades. Nope, nope. Okay, let's move on. One cool thing about this is that you, if you um, capture snakes alive by using the tranquilizer gun, you can actually throw snakes at enemies, uh, which I'm sure is common knowledge to uh, you know everyone who has played this game. But just for those of you who haven't played the game, it's just one of those cool little details. The MGS3 has. And that's the uniform, the face camo I was talking about. And this is where the game kind of is really uh, leaning off of cutscenes from this point on. There's a few codec conversations, but smooth sailing from here for the most part. Well, for a while at least. Uh, there's some crocodiles in the water, gotta watch out for them. Might as well get some grub while we're at it. At it. Uh, this is the first crocodile. And one thing you can do in this game, which you couldn't do in MGS2, is uh, shoot underwater. Because there, there is a boss fight coming up. Well, it, we're not yet. We've got, we got a while until the boss fight, but there is a boss fight where it involves water, where you're kind of in water and you have to shoot. And that happens to be one of my least favorite boss fights in the whole entire series. In fact, it might be my least favorite period in the whole entire series. I, I hate the character and I hate the boss fight itself in terms of gameplay and story. I'll point you out when we get. Oh, almost! I triggered the trap. It's okay though. Snake. I triggered the trap, but I, I'm not gonna get hit. It's okay. Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan. In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. 
I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking, until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Okay, so that was the trap I triggered, but thankfully I wasn't standing in the spot to get hit by it. In this game's universe, are all of the traps supposed to be set up by the fear? Or is it just by the soldiers in general? Okay, so we've got a few electric fences coming up here. Now this area by here is, is there's a lot of claymores lying around the floor. The thing is, you wouldn't know this the first time you played the game. I mean, in the first two games, MGS 1 and 2, when you first encounter claymores, uh, Deep Throat or Mr. X calls you on their codec and he warns you that there are mines planted ahead of you. But in this game, you have no warning whatsoever. So, uh, the first time playing the game, you'll just run right into them. I'm not sure, maybe if you call Eva when you enter this area, maybe she'll warn you about them. But, you know, I'm not sure, I, I don't know, I've never tried this, so I wouldn't know. I think I can get past this bit without getting spotted, though. Feeling a bit cocky right now, but I think I can do it. One thing which I always find annoying about this game is how your food rots. Of course you can build up a, a storage of food in your inventory, but uh, if, it, if you keep it in there for too long it does rot. And of course you can't eat it. Okay, there's a, a dog here. I just want to take him out before I drop down. He's always annoying. Soldier always notices. That's another thing about the soldiers, they kind of blend in to the environment, so they're a lot more tricky to see in this game. Which makes sense, I mean, they would wear uniform which blends into the environment, so of course it makes sense. He said her, but I don't know if he's walking over to the dog or not. I see a guy down there, is that the guy? Nice, okay, he's gone. Should be good to go. You can go left or right here, bit of a, you know, multi-path up to you. I'm gonna take this route. I don't think there's any more claymores at this point. I mean, you can find the mine detector, but you wouldn't think to equip it at this point. I don't think you can find the mine detector yet, actually. I think you find it later on in the game. Even if you can find it at this point, why would you think to equip it? Like, there's no way you'd know those mines are there. Basically a beginner's trap. Not that it's that big of a deal, but it basically would alert... It would trigger an alert phase, which would be really annoying. Yeah, maybe I should change my camo. That would be a good idea. That's the first thing I should have done. Um, tiger stripe, sure. There we go. I would rather not rank this guy. And maybe I should eat some food. 
If you call paramedics, she will tell you about each and every single uh, animal or piece of fruit that you collect. She'll give you a bit of information on the animal or all the fruits, wherever it is. And she does this for every single thing you pick up in the game. Is there a hole? I thought that was a hole, no. You can disable the electricity if you shoot the, uh, that little power box by there with a, with a lethal weapon. Not gonna bother doing that. Are the guards still there or have they moved? Just wanna be sure, yeah, okay. There's also another guard somewhere on the other side of the fence, so I gotta watch out for him. There's a wire over there, don't wanna set off the trap. Yeah, here he is. We're only on 60%. And this is the annoying thing, just having to switch to the menu all the time. Slows down the gameplay, breaks the pace. Just gotta do it. Nice right, looking away. What's in here? Choco chip. Right, nice, we got past that bit quite well. Not that I'm bragging, not as if it was overly difficult, but you know, it's nice that I got past it. That's the second area I think I've gotten past without getting spotted. I think there's a boss fight after this area as well, our first boss fight. In the first two MGS games, you've come across, you come across the boss fights immediately within like the first hour of gameplay. MGS3 holds off for a bit longer until you get to the first boss fight. MGS4 is the same as well. In MGS4 it takes a while until you get to your first boss fight. Now I could just go around along the outskirts of this area and move on to the next area immediately but instead I want to kind of just explore, get a few items. Otherwise, if you want to just move on to the next area you can do it immediately and it's not a big deal. It's not hard to get past this place at all. But if you want to explore and get some items, then uh, you got to risk it. It gets a bit trickier. No one in here? I'm just crawling in case there's someone on the other side of the windows, in case they look through. Alright, this little green f uh, frog by here, for those of you who don't know, these are the collectibles of the game. Uh, you have to shoot them and then you've collected it. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I mean, I've done it before, collected them all in the game uh, for the trophy. I had to get the platinum, that's what I do. And in the 3DS version of the game, because this game was uh, re-released on the 3DS, uh, these uh, collectibles, these frogs, they are replaced with Yoshi figures as well. Another cool little fact. Oh, nice. Suppressor. Oh, right. Okay, that was a suppressor for the... Uh, for my lethal handgun, so it's not very useful for me. Right, hopefully there's no one on the other side of this door. Or at least not immediately. I know there's a guy in the distance somewhere. Over there? Yeah, I can see him. Another guy over there, okay. Now apparently, if I haven't tried it before, but if you blow up these food sources with C4, then uh, it makes the game the soldiers later on in the game hungry or something like that. So it's easier to sneak past them. I've never tried it, but that's what I've heard. It's one of those cool little uh, details. Who's that? What the Always makes me jump. Oh, let's, let's just. Oh no, don't trigger. Oh, oh my food is act my hunger thing is actually going down fast. That's tasty. Yeah. 
It's no fun when you get spotted. And of course that helicopter by there, you can actually blow it up. And uh, later on in the game you have to ascend a mountain, a cliffside. And there's a helicopter flying over, back and forth. You have to be careful that the helicopter doesn't spot you. But if you blow up the helicopter here, the helicopter does not appear later on when you're climbing up the cliffside. Another cool little detail. Alright, I think I'll drop down when we go to, into the caution phase. Two of them below, what are they doing? Looking through the window. To exit the area and move on to the boss fight, you just have to walk over there, but I want to uh, go inside there, get some items. I think there's some explosives in there. I might just trank this guy, I, I don't know. Oh, did he see me? Hopefully he'll climb up the ladder to investigate. That's my, uh, you know, the ideal. That item. Hopefully they won't swap me when I stand up. Are those three guys still in that building? There's no, there's nowhere else they've gone. So I see through that window there. Tempted to drop down. Oh, wait. I hear the door open. Not that door. Okay, I'm just. Oh. Just leave. I might just make a run for it, to be honest. Not sure if I can be bothered to wait any longer. Well, I'm committed now. Somebody there? Mm -hmm. I hit him. Ah. Oh, no, this is go away, go away. Oh, Jesus. My suppressor is already halfway down. Okay, the guy's over there. What's he saying huh about? I what? Footsteps. My footsteps? I'm crawling. This is HQ. Patrol here. Dude, don't go into that trench. Understood. Return to your position. Can I trank him in time? Oh. I was certain it was over. Jeez. That's not one around you. I think it's okay to stand. I can say goodbye to that suppressor. That's gone. Really hope I can find another one, but I can never remember where they are. The because you can find suppressors throughout the game, but they are kind of hidden because you no, know, it makes sense. They are valuable items. So I am rushing into things. I I know. Like just then, I just ran into it instead of kind of looking around. Because maybe I could have CQC that guy if I was uh, a bit more cautious.
Alright, finally we can leave. And our first boss fights. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. Point the cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me, no one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures, they prefer to hunt alone. What made them go back to only using one gun when you fight them in MGS1? This time I've got 12 shots. I've never tried this before, but apparently if you equip a box doing this boss fight, all of his uh, soldiers laugh at you, apparently. So let's see what happens. If they are laughing, I can't hear them. No? There is a crocodile hat you can unlock in the game, apparently they do laugh at you if you wear that. But I heard that if you equip the box they laugh at you as well, but I don't know, apparently not. Anyway... Oh yeah, that's the first thing we should do is call everyone. Snake, the only way to proceed is to fight. You have to defeat Ocelot. You can't jump over that crevice, and hand-to-hand -hand combat is out of the question. You'll have to shoot it out with him. Take cover behind something and wait for an opening, then attack him in first-person view. Ocelot is using a revolver. Revolvers take a long time to reload when they run out of bullets. When he stops to reload, that's your chance to attack. Snake, you won't survive a fall into that crevice. Okay. It looks like there's a hornet's nest up there. If it falls down, you'll be attacked by the hornets inside. If you get attacked by hornets, swing your survival knife around or use a smoke grenade to drive them off. Wearing light-colored clothing can also be effective. There's a hornet's nest over by Ocelot, too. If it drops on... That guy is using a single-action army. It's a six shot 45. He basically does what uh, Nastasha did in MGS1. He basically tells you about the weaponry that the enemies have. Yes, to reload. Ocelot will be open to attack while he's reloading. Use that. Maybe he explains how Volgin can channel electricity when you fight him. I've always wondered that, so I would like to know. He's a force to be reckoned with. Don't even think about running away. The only way to proceed with the mission. Okay, let's just do it. I want to try and trigger a duel with him. If you, you can trigger a duel with Ocelot if you stand at the end by here. 
I've never felt a tension like this before. That's so different from simply changing a clip. This reload time is exhilarating. Yes, so uh, here we go. I love it. Yes. Oh, there's a rabbit for there. Yeah, I want that guy. I do like how Osla is trying to be, uh, what's the words? Not bad. I'm not sure the word is escaping me right now. I like how Ocelot's trying to be... Noble? No, that's not the word. Fear? That's not quite the word I want, but it works. Of course, you can shoot down the beehives. That pisses him off. And uh, if you shoot him in the head, you can actually shoot his hat off as well. Another cool little detail. And he goes to he runs over the pickup. Whoa! Oh, I got bit by a snake. Huh? Sounds like another thing dropped. Oh, he shot the beehive down. I think. Did he? I'm wearing white clothing though, and Paramedic did say that wearing white clothing will uh, work against them. Maybe they're not going after me because I'm wearing it, I don't know. Where is he? Uh, behind this rock, I guess. Huh. Missed my chance. Oh, whoa, you want, oh, come on. I thought you, you was gonna do it again then. I accidentally walked. I didn't realize he wanted to do it, I was gutted. Can I trigger it again, maybe? Oh, shot his hat off. Nope. Doesn't want to do it again. Oh, yeah, he does. I walked away. When I want to duel. Oh, he doesn't. Does he? I think he's doing it, yeah. I love it. Oh, he got me. Honourable, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. I like how he's trying to be honourable about the fight. You know, he's kind of like a bratty little shit in this game, but at the same time, he's he's kind of a cool guy. No, I didn't mean to use a splint. Yeah, I'm not watching that cutscene. It'll just make me miss the chance to shoot him. Damn it. He found us. 
I find it weird how the pain attacks all of uh, Ocelot's soldiers by here. I mean, it looks like... It's, it doesn't look... It's not as if uh, the pain is making the hornets just sting. Sting uh, Ocelot's soldiers. It looks like they are getting killed here. So I, I find that kind of weird, because the pain is working with Ocelot. You know? So it makes me think, would Ocelot... Would an Ocelot be really pissed off at the pain? Like, I know you fight and kill the pain immediately after this, but would an Ocelot be majorly pissed off with the pain later on? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Okay, I had a quick break. I think I'm gonna play up until the pain, uh, pain boss fight and then I'll give it a little break. The thermal got- oh wait, yeah, the cigar helps. So now we're in this pitch black cave. The longer you spend in the cave, the- uh, As you spend time in the cave, eventually Snake's eyesight adjusts to the darkness. As it you know, as you would- you know, as it would happen in real life. So uh, if you take too long to escape the cave, eventually, uh, you know, the longer you spend, the brighter the area gets. So another cool little detail. You can use the cigar to kind of see slightly ahead of you, but it doesn't help much. Basically, you gotta find the torch. Yeah, you basically just walk around aimlessly until you find the torch, and then you can uh, explore. Oh, here we go. I found it straight away. Sometimes it takes me a little while. I keep bumping into the walls. I can't quite find it. Got it pretty much straight away here. Good. No, oh, it's a weapon, right? Yeah, I, I, we better get these grenades out for the boss fight coming up. And the torch. Okay. I hate the boss fight coming up as well. I just... It's not fun. I just... In my opinion, I just don't like it. I just find it really tedious. I think it was one of those things where even when I played it the first time, I wasn't too fond of it. Like, right off the bat, I always hated, hated the pain. And this boss fight is just as lame as the character. I kind of like this little cave se uh, sequence, though. It's, it's a nice change of pace. I mean, you don't have to worry about enemies, you're just exploring. You get to see some cool, uh, you know, wildlife, you know, the frogs, the bats and everything. I do really like, I said it before, but I do really like the uh, the whole stamina bar and the whole having to capture, kill and eat animals to keep it up. I do like that idea. I kind of wished another Metal Gear game used this because uh, MGS3 is the only game in the series which uses this this stamina bar, wh whatever we want to call it, this hunger bar, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Cause I, I do like the idea of capturing animals and stuff and keeping track of it. So I, th I think it's a shame they never used it in a future MGS game. Like, I, I know I bitch about having to go into the menu to eat the food. I always complain that it breaks up the flow of the gameplay. But at the same time, I kind of like it as well. I just wish they, they, they streamlined it somehow. Got a shotgun which I'm never going to use. Ammo. Probably won't be one in that. I might as well kill that crab. Why not? What's that frog? Yeah, frog. There are crabs in the cave. I think that's the boss room over there. 